Hello, today I'm going to explain what is DSP. So DSP is nothing but as abbreviation says it is digital signal processing. Digital signal processing means we are going to process digital signals here. So before going into that, let me uh, briefly explain what is a digital signal. So based on the time parameter, you can classify signals into three categories broadly that is signals can be broadly classified into three categories based on the time parameter that is continuous time signal continuous time then discrete time and digital so here i am considering only the parameter time so let me explain what is a continuous time signal a signal which is having values at all time points are called a continuous time signal so in the x-axis i'm going to take time parameter and in the y-axis i'm going to take amplitude parameter so the signal will be like this that is for all time points the signal is having values see for all time points here 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 for all points you are continuously obtaining the value of the signal then such a signal is called a continuous time signal so the signal is called a continuous time signal now what is a discrete time signal discrete time signal is actually obtained by sampling a continuous time signal now i will explain what is sampling in my next video so just identify or just understand that a continuous time signal is a sampled version of the sorry a discrete time signal is a sampled version of the continuous time signal so as the name implies it is having value of the signal only at discrete time points so let me explain with a graph so if it is uh, having time in the x-axis and amplitude in the y-axis the signal is having values at only discrete time points say so say this is one two three the signal is having values at one two three six seven eight so the signal is having values only at discrete time points here it is having at all points here it is having only at discrete points which is 1 2 3 6 7 8 just for an example i'm saying so it is obtained by sampling the continuous time signal that is uh, sampling will give you samples or uh, uh, points from the sample points from the continuous time signal so i have sampled the continuous time signal to produce a discrete time signal then what is a digital signal we are actually talking about digital signal processing so you should identify or you should understand what is a digital signal a digital signal is actually the quantized version of a discrete time signal so this is a discrete time signal discrete time here so this is a discrete time signal which is obtained by sampling the continuous time signal now what is a digital signal digital signal is the quantized version of the discrete time signal in the digital signal the time is discrete and the amplitude is quantized time is discrete and the amplitude is quantized so if you don't know what is quantization i will explain i will just explain briefly quantization means say if this is a analog signal for quantizing the signal i will just set a threshold say this is 4.5 and i am setting this as the threshold value and if the value of the signal is above this 4.5 i am going to set it as i am going to mark it as 1 and if the value of the signal is below this 4.5 i'm going to set it as 0 so say uh, 
I'm going to take three points from the signal. Say so this is one, two and three. I'm going to quantize the uh, value of the signal at these three points. That is at one, two, three, I'm going to quantize the signal. So here at one, the value is 4.5. So I'm going to write it as one. Then at the point, say the point three is here. I'm going to mark it here that is below 4.5 at 4.5 it is 1 he, uh, here the value is clearly above 4.5 so again it is 1 at 3 so it is below 4.5 then the value is 0 so so I have quantized it and written it in the digital form as 1010s that is in order to quantize a signal you have to have a threshold and if the value of the signal that is when drawing the graph if the graph goes below above the threshold then the value is taken as 1 then if the graph dips below the threshold then the value is taken as 0 and we can just write the signal as just 101010 that is quantization so a digital signal will be quantized in the amplitude and discrete in time so here i have quantized the amplitude i'm going to entirely quantize by taking discrete points of the signal so the amplitude i have quantized amplitude is in the y-axis and time in the x-axis so i have quantized the signal uh, with uh, for its amplitude i have quantize the amplitude and I am only taking discrete points from the signal. So such a signal is called a digital signal. So I can represent the signal as at uh, the discrete time point 0 the value is 1 At I am just writing uh, roughly. So this is the time points say this is the point 4 this is 8 this is 9. So these are the discrete time points and I'm going to write the amplitude value 0 1 0 0 so this is the this is how you are forming a digital signal here I'm taking only discrete time points and at the uh, at that discrete time points I have quantized amplitude values so this is a digital signal so in digital signal processing you are going to process these digital signals for obtaining various functions. I hope the video is clear. Thank you.